South America, the fourth largest continent on this earth, the earth Jesus longs to save, the earth Jesus asked us to reach. The Seventh-day Adventist Church's South American division includes most, but not all, of the South American continent. Like the rest of the population, the church here in South America has a rich ethnic and cultural mix. Throughout the division, the Spanish and Portuguese influences remain in their language, religion, and culture. The Spanish and Portuguese began colonizing the continent in the 1500s and ruled the territory for more than two centuries. Today, the primary languages are still Spanish for most of South America's countries and Portuguese in Brazil. Most of the people, more than 70%, consider themselves Roman Catholic. Adding to the rich cultural mix are indigenous peoples, the descendants of Africans and more recently Asian immigrants. The landscape is as diverse as the culture with majestic mountains, vast networks of rivers, rainforest and white sand beaches. According to the history books, the Seventh-day Adventist message arrived in South America some 10 years after J.N. Andrews was sent to Europe as the first official Adventist missionary. In the late 1800s, letters and literature from the newly established publishing house in Europe reached South America. A German paper left by a ship fell into the hands of a school teacher who sent for more literature, which he sold to buy alcohol. Some of these papers reached people's homes when a shopkeeper used them to wrap his goods. As a result, several homes began to keep the Sabbath. Later, Adventists from the American Midwest arrived and started small groups of believers. From those small beginnings, the Adventist Church in South America grew to include hospitals, clinics, and training schools for workers. Today, there are some 2.5 million Seventh-day Adventist believers in the South American Division, worshiping in more than 9,000 churches. But the recent rapid growth in South America is itself a challenge, and with a population of more than 305 million, there is still much to be done. Because of the tremendous need for pastors, teachers, and other Adventist workers, schools are a critical part of the future mission in South America. Brazil is the largest country in South America, covering nearly half of the continent and bordering 10 countries. For years, the majority of Adventists in Brazil were in the South, but membership in the northern part of the country is growing rapidly. Last year, 45,000 people joined the Adventist church there. But young people who wanted to go to an Adventist school had to travel some 3,000 kilometers or 1,800 miles to Sao Paulo. Next year, a new school, Amazon Adventist College, will open its doors to theology students. Located near Belen, one of Brazil's largest northern cities, the school is desperately needed. The North Brazil Union currently has 320 pastors for the 444,000 membership, or about one pastor for every 1,390 church members. Another major challenge is reaching people in the large cities of South America. At least two cities, Sao Paulo, Brazil, and Buenos Aires, Argentina, are listed among the world's 20 most populated cities. With a population of some 1.4 million, Quito, the capital of Ecuador, may not be one of the largest cities in the South American division, but it's here. The church is reaching out to those people behind closed doors using radio. Radio Nuevo Tempo has been touching hearts and lives for years, and their reach has grown. Today, the programs broadcast from this small station via three repeaters and are heard throughout much of Ecuador. Through programs about health, family life, and spiritual information and news, radio station director Miguel Martinez and his staff are sharing a message of hope in Jesus over the airwaves. They plan to expand their coverage and upgrade their equipment and facilities so even more people will have an opportunity to learn about a new life that is centered on Jesus. Over the last five years, more than 700 people have joined the Adventist Church thanks to the messages of hope being broadcast here, and some 88 station Bible workers have given some 4,000 Bible studies. From remote villages to major cities, from favelas to classrooms, from the airwaves to rooms behind closed doors, a message of hope is spreading throughout the South American division. Each quarter, your 13th Sabbath offerings go to a different area of the world. Each world division faces its own unique challenges, 
and your offerings can help that division continue to move ahead. The money you give this quarter may be the answer to someone's prayer. Whether a message of hope on the radio or a knock on the door by a visiting pastor trained in an Adventist school, you can help touch hearts and change lives in the South American division.